Hey there, this is Andy Brown. I'm one of the owners at the Climber School of Real Estate, the best real estate school in Florida. And I'm going to be doing another Climber School Real Estate Math tutorial video for you. Hopefully, this will help you on your state exam when you're at Pearson View. This particular one is going to be a couple more percentage profit problems because for some reason it gives some of our students fits and I get a lot of phone calls and emails about this. So let's go over definitions. First of all, percentage profit. Please remember, percentage profit is not dollars profit. They're both important in real life, but they're different. At the Climber School of Real Estate, percentage profit is made over paid. Now, what is made? Made is actually your dollars profit. How do you know what your dollars profit is? Well, it's what you sold it for minus what you paid for it. Paid is actually cost in the problem. What you paid for it or what you paid and then had to put into it, like a flip, for example, before you could get it to a point where you could sell it. Now, once you have made over paid, at the Climber School of Real Estate, we call that top number divided by the bottom number. You ought to be praying for 75 of those on your state exam. Now, especially for my online course friends, I'm going to go over two different scenarios. The first scenario says a lot cost $8,000, sold for $10,000, yielding a $2,000 profit. What was the percentage profit? So let's write down our information. Cost or paid was $8,000. We sold it for 10000 Made, or dollars profit, think about it. It's what you sold it for minus what you paid for it. I learned that in the third grade, the first time I tried to trade a baseball card. So our dollar's profit is $2,000. Now, I don't know about you, I'd do that every single day of my life if I could. But the question is, what is the percentage profit? Remember, your formula is made over paid. So we made $2,000 on the deal. We paid $8,000. And again, top number divided by the bottom number, 0.25. Or if we move the decimal over two spots, that's a 25% profit. Not too shabby. Well, now I'm going to do a second example. From it's We're going to show a loss. This one says, now the lot cost 10000 but sold for 8000 What is the percentage profit? Now, I hate to tell you, but people do lose money on real estate deals. And uh, loss is really just negative profit. So let's see what's going on here. I'm going to put the same numbers in as I read them out. So now we have a lot that costs 10000 But sold for only eight thousand. What did we make on the deal? Don't change the numbers, John. Dollars profit is what you sold it for minus what you paid for it. So we sold it for eight thousand, and we paid ten thousand. If you put those numbers in your calculator, you're going to get a negative sign. Don't ignore that negative sign. It means you lost $2,000. If I put the same numbers in our made over paid, we made negative $2,000. Ooh. 
we paid $10,000. And remember, at the Climber School, we call this top number divided by the bottom number. If you put those numbers in your calculator, what you get is a negative 0.20. Don't ignore that negative. If we move the decimal over to the right two places to get percentage, what that means is we have a negative 20% profit, which is really a 20% loss. Better luck on your next deal. I really hope that helps you, especially on your state exam in Pearson View. If you need any help, if there's anything we can do, our two-day review, we got a bunch of them going on, classroom and live streaming, would you please email or call the school 407-822-3926-EXAM. Talk to one of our climber concierges, let us help you. Because all we care about is helping our students pass that state exam. So good luck at Pearson View, and above all, don't overthink it.